Now you have seen the question. So let me explain you the question and uh, give you the correct answer for the question. So this question is, uh, it's a combination of two things. One is a michaelis fenton equation. Other is the competitive or non-competitive inhibition. So in the question it said that so the Vmax in the absence of inhibitor, it was 15. So Vmax here in the absence of inhibitor is 15. So that's the number there and that's units per minute per uh, milligram of uh, milligrams of protein now the km here is 1.25 so km is 1.25 that's what is given the question 1.25 millimoles of km now the inhibitor concentration that is given in the question is 5 millimoles so in the 5 millimoles in the 5 millimoles of inhibitor concentration Vmax has been dropped from 15 to 6. So that's what happened. So Vmax has dropped from 15 units to 6 units. So in the presence of inhibitor, Vmax has been decreased. So whereas the Km remains same here, that has also been given in the question. Now you by going into uh, types of two main types of inhibition one is a competitive inhibition other is the non-competitive inhibition so you all know that uh, competitive inhibitor it is going to increase apparent km it is not going to change the vmax whereas non-competitive inhibitor it is going to decrease the vmax whereas uh, km remains the same so that information is given in this particular case stem by saying that vmax has dropped from 15 to 6 units km remained same now the km is given in the question and that is 2.5 uh, millimole sorry the substrate concentration is given in the question is substrate concentration is 2.5 millimoles now you have all the things to calculate velocity of the reaction that's the question is all about the question is question is asked that what is the velocity of this particular enzyme reaction in the presence of 5 millimolar inhibitor when the Vmax dropped from 15 to 6. So all you got to do now is to put the michaelis menten equation. So you need to know the michaelis menten equation that is velocity of the reaction equals Vmax substrate multiplied by substrate concentration over Km plus substrate concentration. This is the michaelis menten equation. All you got to do now is to substitute all the values. So now your new new Vmax is 6. So put that number here. So Vmax is 6 in the presence of 5 millimolar inhibitor. You know the substrate concentration given that is 2.5. So this is 2.5 here. And then Km is 1.25 because Km remains same in the presence of this inhibitor that is non-competitive inhibitor that is 1.25 plus substrate concentration and that is 2.5. So if you do all this, if you simplify this particular equation, sorry, the number here, so you are going to get number 4. So you are going to get 4 units per minute per milligram of protein. So that will be the answer. So the answer option B is the correct answer for this. So this question is basically the combination of a uh, michaelis menten equation con uh, concept plus non-competitive inhibitor both the things are combined here so that's why answer is option p thanks for watching